to this next video. This is exercise six in a Libre. Let's start by sketching on the YZ plane. I'll start off with a circle whose center is around the origin. And we'll give this a dimension of 95 millimeters. Next, let's extrude this and we want to go with a distance of two millimeters, just like that. Next, I'll uh, sketch on the YZ plane again. And I'll start by making an arc. Make sure that the center of my arc is vertical with the origin. Let's go with a line here and a line here. Make sure that we have tangent relations. Next, we'll give this a radius of 60, and I can give this an angle of 32. We'll add a horizontal relation between these two points, and this is going to be relatively, actually completely symmetric, so we'll make sure that these lines are equal as well. I'll grab a line over here and we'll add a horizontal relation from here, from here to here. And that's about right. We'll grab an arc, again, whose center will be on the origin, and then I can fill in the rest of the shape with a line. We'll make sure that this arc has a radius of 240. And we want this arc center off the origin to have a dimension of 70. Now we are fully defined, except there's one thing. I gave this a radius of 240, and it should have a diameter of 240, so I will divide by 2. And same here, I gave this a radius of 60, but we actually want a diameter of 60, so I'll divide by 2 there. And we're looking about perfect. Next. We'll deactivate our sketch, and I will give an extrusion of 40. And actually, let's go in the opposite direction. So we'll just click reverse right there. Next, I'll sketch on my YX plane. Right from here, I'll start with my line. I'm going to insert a vertical line, and we'll go with a coincidence from here to this point, so it's sitting right on the edge. We'll grab a horizontal to the origin, and then I can start to sketch my part out here. Add in our step. And now I can add in a coincident from this point to this. We'll add a dimension. And we'll make sure that this is, say, 75 divided by 2, right? So this will have a diameter of 75, radius of 37 and a half. We'll give this line a length of 67. From here to here, we'll go with 73. And then maybe I can give this an overall length of 131. Now uh, we'll grab this point, grab the origin, and give this a radius of 30. And then we'll give this feature a radius of 42 divided by 2, or 21. We'll deactivate the sketch, and now we'll revolve. We'll select our sketch and our axis here, and that's our revolution. Next thing, and I should talk about design intent. I did this in a revolve, but you could also extrude this face, extrude this face, extrude this face, and three separate extrusions. 
So it all depends on do you want to update sketches or extrusions and each would have their pros and cons depending on what your needs are as the designer. I'll select this face now and activate a sketch. I'll select a circle and choose a coincident and I'll make sure that my circle is coincident with this circle and we'll make sure that our circle center is vertical with the origin. Now we'll grab a diameter and we'll give this a diameter of 4. We'll deactivate. We'll use an extruded cut and we'll want to make sure that we go to a depth of 40, which I already have up here. And then I can do a circular pattern. And I want a circular, circular pattern this in a way that it is quite splined. So we'll choose circular pattern. We'll choose our center to be this axis. And we'll give this 20 instances instead of four. And we'll say, okay. So that's our circular pattern. We'll want to add a hole now. We'll activate a sketch on this face. We'll make sure that our circle center is vertical with the origin and we'll give a dimension this will be a dimension of 32 and our circle center to the origin will have a height of 60. we'll deactivate and extrude Again, with the intent of going through all. Next, uh, we'll want to sketch on this face now. And for reference, I can project a reference figure right here with maintained association. And that way I have a nice center to reference off of that will update with the previous features. We'll give this a diameter of 22, and we'll give this a diameter of 60. We'll deactivate, we'll go with an extrusion, and we'll go with an extrusion of 50. Next, I'll grab this end face, create a sketch, and I can do much the same. We can project a reference figure here with maintained association. I'll grab a circle. And we'll dimension it to something like 42. We'll deactivate. And we'll do a cut extrude. And we'll go to a distance of negative 25. Next, I want to add some details. Let's go with a fillet. And we'll place it right here on that edge. I'll choose a fillet of 5. And apply that. And then I'll want to go... Let's go with a fillet of 10, and I can select this edge, this edge, and these two over here, and we'll apply that. After that, let's do a small radius. We'll give it a value of, let's say, 1, and I'll select this edge and this edge. And that should be our final part. Again, this is exercise six, one of my favorites. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next exercise.